guitar buddies, that was the Blur Classic Country House. So we'll start with the chords on the intro where the bass is playing the chromatic one down. Just playing what sounds like an augmented chord. I'm playing a G, B, D sharp, G. So I'm playing 10 on A, 9 on D, and then just 8 and 8 on G and B. Okay, and then we're into the verse. So I'm playing. So here I'm playing A to E. So I'm using my thumb here on the A on, to play that A on five on the E string and just hitting seven, six, five on the D, G and B strings. So little chucker. Okay. Then an E bar chord, seven. Nine, nine, nine. So, and that little chucker again. I am playing a B minor. So again, I'm using my thumb here on seven, and 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 then playing nine, seven, seven. Okay, all the D, G, and B strings. Then a little, again, that little damp strings, that little chucker. And just twice playing E, D, B. Bam. So, yeah, so playing nine, seven, nine of the G and D strings. Then moving up to the 10th position, a D chord, again using my thumb. So I've played 10 on E, then 12, 11, 10, 10 on the D string, G, B and E strings. And then just moving my thumb down a fret, but keeping the D. So you've got... So basically you've got a D, and then a D over C sharp. And then you keep your thumb on the nine. So you're going... And move these fingers down so you get a C sharp. So you've got... And there's a little fill, I think it's on an overdub, but you can play it on one guitar. So I'm, I'm playing, again, a little chucker. Then I'm playing E, F sharp, E. And then, so I'm playing 9, 11, 9 on the G string. And then I'm playing B, C sharp with a bend. And as I release the bend, hitting that A note to start again. Okay, and then um, for the time before we, as we're going into the pre-chorus, I'm just going to go Just hitting an open E chord to take us into the chorus. Okay, and the chorus is uh, B. So I'm just playing A and then just in the house. And here I think what he plays, you could just play an E or an E7 to E flat, but um he seems to shift, and when you see him play it live, he seems to do this. So I'm playing... So I've just played two different inversions of E7. So I'm playing 79797, then 7675. So you can kind of hear on the record, uh, those notes, so... Then moving down a fret, 
to take you to a D7. So. Back to the A. D7. Go back to, yeah. And then you've only got that bridge section as well. On the solo, you're playing the verse chords. You've got to do, 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 do. Uh, to E. So you've got to blow, blow, to E. I'll tell you. So to D. I don't know why. So it's just A, E, a D on that section twice. Okay, so the chords are really great. And next we'll take a look at the lead parts. We've got a couple of pre-chorus licks over the E chord based around the E Mixolydian scale. I'm starting with... Okay, so I'm just sliding to a G sharp and B on 13 and 12 on the G and B strings. Okay, so we've got, we've got the third and the fifth of the E chord, and then we've got E, F sharp, E, B, so 12, 14, 12, 12, all the top two strings, then going up the neck, we've got, I'm playing a G sharp to E, and then we've got B, C sharp, moving up to D, so we've got so we've got 16, 17 on E and B, then 19. Then we've got 21 sliding to 22. And then landed on the A as we hit the A chord of the chorus on 17. And the second time, very similar, slightly good. Then we've got so we just start the same, but this time we're just playing C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A. So 14, 15, 14, 12 on the D, B string, sorry. To 14 on G. And then just going up the scale. Just hammering to C sharp on 14. D on 15, E on 17. Okay, that's those couple of little pre-chorus licks. Next we'll take a look at the solo. For the guitar solo, there's actually two guitars playing. And as always, I've tried to work it out by ear. So hopefully this is kind of close, but I can't tell exactly what he's playing, especially as there's lots of kind of sliding and kind of random bits. But as we always used to say in the band, Close enough for jazz. All right, so here we go. We're starting on one guitar with a little cut. Just kind of going up the neck. Sort of following the A scale loosely. I was playing F sharp, G, F, A. Two, four, slide to five on the E string. And the next one sounds like a slide or just basically the same notes. So you could do the same, or, or I was just doing a slide. So I was playing two, four, five, then four to seven, then C sharp, D, slide to E. So six, seven, nine. And then a slide from A to C sharp, so 10 to 14, and then a bend on a G sharp and release. So on 16, bend release. Okay, so you've got, yeah, and then we've got, again, you have to be too accurate with this because it's just kind of a lot of sliding, but it seems to be, around these notes. So I'm playing, sliding down from an, kind of about an, a G sharp or an F sharp. I think it was an F sharp. Okay, on 19. 
just kind of going down the net, 1914. Or, you know, just that kind of, go down the net and then, so on the B string, 1914, sliding down and then, four to seven, seven to 11. So you kind of got, uh, yeah. Okay. Finishing on that 11 on the G string. And then. So I'm playing E and D. 12 to 10. C sharp. B, G sharp, 9, 12, 9, and then 12, 9 again. And then this time, slightly different, I'm going. So here I was playing. So again, you could just play almost the same as the first one, you know, but I think this time it's the same, and then I was playing. That's, that's the same, and then it sounded like a little, a little push on a C and then so on this time going to eight seven to ten so that's the same eight so seven to ten and then in the C sharp on 14 on the B string and then And it's that. So, so I've gone up to an A on 17, G sharp on 16, F sharp on 14. Some little trills. So 17, 16, 14, 14, 16, 12, 14, 12, 10, to 12. Then we've got E, B, E, E. So I'm playing 12, side to 19, 17, slide down. And then, then on this guitar, it sounds like it's just kind of. Again, the note's a little bit random, but approximately, sliding from the D there on three, all the way up, and then hitting the kind of A, I think, on 17 on the bottom string, slide down, and then seems to sound about A, the second one. And again, so on five on the E string, again, same place there. So you kind of got that kind of thing. And that's the first guitar. On the second guitar I'm starting with so I'm playing 14, 12, F sharp to E on the E string, D on 15, hammer 14 to 15, C sharp to D and then slide twice 12 to 7. B to F sharp on the B string there. And then we've got so put F sharp G A. So seven and then eight ten twice. Then ba -ba -ba -ba. B C sharp D E. Seven, nine, ten, twelve, and then E, uh, sorry, G sharp, E, C sharp, E, C sharp, nine, nine on B and G, then eleven, nine, eleven on D and G, and then we've got mm, so a little push on a C on 13 and then B G sharp E so got them 
Okay, uh, so 1299 and then this bit's kind of in harmony with the other guitar, which is playing that. So I'm playing C sharp, B, A, 14, 12, 10, then trills, 10, 12, 9, 10, then 7 to 9. Then, and I'll just hit the open B and then 7 and 7 I think that's what's played and then a little chromatic just hammering up going up the neck so I'm playing C sharp to E 6 to 9 and 5 to 8 E to G then Five to eight, and then moving up one to nine. So just that kind of thing, just hammers. Yeah. So we've got, um, yeah. So, yeah. And then we've got a little C. So just hitting that. Kind of a little push on 20, a slide down on the C sharp on 14. So I've got, and then just sounds like it just catches an open G right at the end. All oh, right, so it's kind of a crazy little solo there, but uh, it really works with those two guitars together and uh, a fun try to figure it out. Okay, so next we'll take a look at the arpeggiated section over the slow bit. So this section, I'm just playing arpeggios over the A, E and D chords. I'm starting with C sharp, C sharp, A, E, so just 14, 14, 14, 14, and then I'm playing B, B, G sharp, B, so 12 on B to 14 on A. 13 on G, again down to that B on 14, an open E, so, and then that B again, G sharp again on 13, back to that B, so you just got, then just playing that D shape in the 14th position so 14, 15 and 14 then adding my little finger on 16 for the F sharp so on the D string so it's 16, 15, 14, 16 so then just down that A chord again Finishing on an A on 17. Okay, love this stuff. And next we'll take a look at the bass. I'm starting the bass with a chromatic rundown, starting on a C sharp on the 11th fret of the D string. So I've got. Okay, so I'm going C sharp, C, B, A sharp, A, G sharp, G, E, D sharp, D. Okay, so I'm going down one fret each time from the 11th fret to the 5th fret of the D string. And then, ba ba bo, 7, 6, 5 on A, so. Then we're into the verse. Um, so the verse, got half bar of A to E, so I'm playing open A, Four open, so root and third. So an E, just up an E. A little fill there, so I'm going to a B, so E. So sign it to seven. Seven, nine, seven, E, a sharp, B. 
then to a D, to C sharp, so 10. And then that chromatic one down, not all as far this time, so go bum bum. Repeat. So I'm going again from 11, two notes, but so twice per note. So five, so it's 11 to five. Then repeat. So here I'm just just the first three notes. It sounds like it just does a, an open E, but maybe a little slide there, I think. Um, just on the A string. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. plays on E. Yeah. So just that E, open E note. So then we're going into the chorus, so we've got that open E. Well, just lead into the chorus, D to B. Five to seven, phrase on it. Ba ba ba. And then, uh, so we got lifting the house. Just open uh, A, third to fifth. So open four seven. Then climbing up to that E chord. So. So I've got, so second time I've got, one, two, boo, boo. So going chromatically to that E. So I've got, so open, four, seven, open, four, five, six. And then, so playing E, G sharp, B, D, so seven on A, six, nine, twelve, nine, twelve. Then outlining a D seven chord, so I've got D, C, F sharp, five, five, four. So then back to the D. They go chromatically back up, just like that one, four, five, six, so five, four, five, six. Then, again, that, just outlining the A chord, A, C sharp, E, D. Again, um, Then back to God, God, morning, um, God, God, morning, glory. Yeah, just about. Yeah, so that's basically your first chorus structure. And um, the only other section is the basis of what you're playing here, but you've got the blow. So I put the bass in there to sort of replace the keyboards and fatten out the sound. So I'm just playing A, E and D. Okay, but it's really your first choruses. Great stuff there, great fun one to play. Okay, so that is Blair and Country House. So thanks for watching buddies. Cheers.